Good morning and welcome to After Bloom. I'm your host Russ and today I am here with uh, Linda Lang. And Linda, tell us a little bit about yourself and about your involvement in Bloom in the Desert Ministries. Well, I grew up in Omaha, Nebraska and I went to Nebraska Wesleyan University in Lincoln, Nebraska. That's where I met Ron my husband and on August 8th we're going to celebrate 47 years of being wow. married Wow, that's incredible. and I finished my degree in Montana State University in, Mon in Montana and became a medic I was majoring in microbiology and I became a medical technologist spent 25 years in Montana at hospitals enjoying my lab work entirely when we moved to Southern California I now have a part-time job at Joann's in Redlands, and I'm the education coordinator over there. Wow, that's cool. S schedule all the classes and everything. When we moved to California, we left a wonderful church, in United Methodist Church in Livingston, Montana. And I really regretted leaving there because it was such a friendly, happy, I mean, I felt good there. When we came to Southern California, we've tried to find another church and we had difficulties finding one where we felt we belonged mm -hmm. and we moved in 2005 to Cali Southern California to Banning to be near our daughter and her family and children and they live in San Bernardino and we finally in 07, 08 I guess maybe we decided to look on the internet for you uh, reconciling congregation of the United Methodist Church and Bloom in the Desert was the only one that was listed wow. and so we yeah. we came and it was just history after that because it was just we knew instantly the first day that we were here that we'd found our our home so it's been it's, it's very nice it is a nice feeling to be a part of bloom um you know you hear similar stories from a lot of people that have joined bloom and that's a testament to who Bloom is as a congregation. So what does Bloom mean to you? Well, you know, last weekend we had our Bloom spiritual retreat up in Idlewild, and we talked about spirituality, and I shared that my spirituality is very important to me, but until I found Bloom, there was this little hole because I wasn't able to share any of that with a church environment. And so Bloom has given me that opportunity to, to share my spirituality, my faith with other people here at Bloom. Mm -hmm. And I really feel that the extravagant welcome that we give definitely extends much farther than just the welcome of visitors at the door. Because I feel that all, the, all of us here at Bloom just are very concerned about each other concerned about the world around us and it's it's a very good feeling. Yeah, it is a very good feeling, uh, that extravagant welcome. Well now tell us a little bit about your what you're involved with here at Bloom. I am co chairperson with Ron, my husband, with uh, church with the church growth and new development the church development and new Growth. That's a very difficult term. <laughs> I should have practiced that one before I did game this morning. Because, but um, we're we are co-chairs of that, and we are responsible for helping um, bring new people into the church and to um, help with advertising so other people can find Bloom. We're in charge of the pride, our um, re our representation and pride with our with our car and everything, and. We um, work then closely with the nurturing committee, though we're not chairs of that one. But, and we help set up in, on Sunday mornings, just try to get here early enough. But. And it was a beautiful thing that you guys did when you got our billboard up. That was a, that, that was a very special thing that our committee, committee Tell us a little with. bit about that. Well, the billboard went up last November, and it was up for four months, and we it sort of um, launched a new um, image or logo for for Bloom in the Desert Ministries, mm -hmm. and our new lo our new billboard showed that it was your your faith, your journey, your church, and you're welcome here. Come check us out. And so it's 
it's important that people know that every person is on their own faith journey, and we're here to support everybody. Yes, we are. If, if what is your philosophy, what would be your philosophy that you try to live by on a daily, weekly, monthly basis? I try to be sure that I'm very aware of other people's um, concerns and where they are, and I try to I try to be very welcoming in all of my experiences with everybody, not only here at church but at, at Joanne's and just out on the street. And I feel that God is wanting us um, through Jesus Christ to be a, a avenue that that they can work through. We are we are the avenues that God and Jesus work through. And we have to be there to help people. Like whenever we can, we try to go to Sandwich Mondays and try to help because for me the social involvement of Bloom is very important. And the social issues that we and the justice and equality for all persons is very important to me that we pursue that. So living Living that out on a daily basis is kind of what your philosophy that is. on I, life would be then. I, I think it is, because I think that if, as long as everyone is treated equally, I think that it, it, everything else will fall into place, because I think that's sort of the bottom line. If, if there were three words, if you have three words to, to leave our viewers with, that would describe a bloom experience, what would they be? I think very loving and very compassionate. I really feel the compassion here at Bloom and the vibrancy. It's very vibrant. And those are wonderful words. Thank you for joining us on After Bloom. You can join us every Sunday at uh, 10 a.m. for fellowship and faith. And we appreciate you joining us here this morning. Now go out and be the change that you want to see and have a blessed day. And today you know that's good enough for me. Breathing in and out, it's a blessing, can't you see? Today's the first day of the rest of my life, and I'm alive.